We're gonna have to watch the poor dog get cut in half again, but you know. It's uh it, it's it's it, Yeah. Treachery. Treachery. While attending a lavish feast thrown by a Hungarian lord, Khan Kotyun was murdered in cold blood by Hungarian and German knights. Our people are outraged and are out for blood. The Hungarians think we will scatter without Kotyun's leadership, but they are wrong. They have united us in pursuit of one goal, to avenge the death of our one true Khan. Our clan leaders have come together and taken an oath of I love the masks. Human traditions. With sword in hand over a dead dog cut in two, they swear not to dismount their horses until Kotian's death has been paid back in blood. If our leaders fail to honor their oath, their own clansmen will ensure that they suffer the same fate as the dog that they swore the oath upon. That is the way of the Cumans. We will act before the combined armies of Frederick and the Hungarian lords arrive. We know that there is a safe haven to the south in Bulgaria. The Bulgarian Emperor is of Cuman descent and is ready to provide safe passage for our elderly and young. In the meantime, all men and women able to mount a horse will venture out to raid the Hungarian countryside. Our vengeance will be swift and thorough. We will show no mercy. Hungary will burn. I bet they're hungry for some vengeance. <laughs> okay, travel to the Kuman camp and report for duty. We're not able to construct new buildings. Great sign. Uh, we need help fighting off the Tartar Raiders. Ox carts hold valuable loot. Okie dokie. I'll give you free resources and a Kipchak. King Bela is called upon his noblemen and Kuman allies to rally in preparation for the upcoming Mongol invasion. Um, a band of Kuman warriors has arrived from the north to meet the local Kuman chief. Um, Hungarians need your... I thought we were fighting the Hungarians. Uh, I have several villages under the constant threat from Tartar raiders. Uh, Hungarian nobles in the region have answered the call from their king without having... Uh, with hesitation, it seemed to resent their king. Ooh, feels bad, man. Duke Frederick and his Austrian knights would also have to arrive to help fight the Mongols. The rumor has that they are uh, inciting even more discontent among Hungarian nobility. Oh, man. It's like it's like this is historically happening simultaneously to the Mongol invasion. Like, Mon uh, Genghis, like Genghis Khan 5 is like happening right now. Which is pretty cool. Tartar Raiders are attacking our village! So yeah, let's, uh, let's these guys up. Again, I thought we were burning down Hungary. King Wenceslas is approaching with a huge army. Scouts have located a pass. Ahead where we can make our stand. If we build our strong Thank fortification, much, their army will be we smashed against our, our walls and towers. We do not have much, but we will share with you what little we have. Yay! Um, oh, I guess you keep on going. Alright, see, so we have these outposts. To get vision of the village, mostly. Again, thought we were allied. Well, we, I didn't think we were allied with the Tartars. I mean, we've been fighting them, but like we were, we were allied with the Hungarians. Last scenario, and now we're fighting them because they betrayed and murdered Kotian, which is kind of a dick move, to be honest. No, these ox carts are just a campaign Thank unit, child. and they contain these resources. These pagan savages have been destroying our Christian sanctuaries all over the country. A dark time is upon us. Welcome. We heard that you were coming, and we could use your help. You can train additional soldiers in my camp. Ah, yes. Oh, we don't need that. 
Okay, um, oh, okay. So we have to protect that village um, from the Tartars. And if we bring... Ah, oh, here we go. So let's send these guys over to heal real quick. And let's get Bobkin. So yeah, I, I am honestly kind of confused though. Hopefully there'll be like some sort of notification or they'll attack our outposts because I don't want them to just like kill all the villagers when I'm not looking in Siege of Paris. Well, I mean, this is just like we only gave them a little bit of resources. That makes sense. Anyway, let us strike out. Love how fast we are, man. Hello! How may I help you? We are all the king could afford to send. Also, uh, uh, where, where are all the people? It's just a bunch of yurts just hanging around doing yurt things. Yurting it up. Ooh, this place has seen better Yet days. Yet another race town. The Tata's camp will not be far from here. Send her on back. Are we supposed to avoid the Tartar camp? Out of camp to the east. I don't know if this is a destroy the Tartar camp to, you know, help everybody not die. Or a avoid the camp because that would be suicide. But, you know what? We ain't afraid of no haters. Wait, I, I remember having two ox cards. I just had the one. I, I suppose so, Elder Archer. It's very unclear. I gotta make sure these guys don't run to their death. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, these guys don't have very good upgrades, they just have Bludgeon. Hello, Vatilla. Can I get the trucks? Oh. This seems to be their main camp, so let's try and get everyone together. Yeah, we got plus two defense, we got Bodkin. We're doing just fine. Wait, what? Oh. These are not enemies. The relief force! The Tatars have been besieging my camp for four days now. Clear the surrounding lands of all our enemies, and I will reward you kindly. A again, duly grateful. But aren't Thought our camp up ahead is well defended. But should avoid it until we are strong enough. That we will do. But uh, again, aren't you guys the assholes that killed? Our uh, the Mongols titular hero. That we hand your people over to them, but our king refused. Perhaps he was right to do so. Here is your gold. Take the ox carts. But again, I kind of thought that you guys were the sons of bitches that killed uh, Kotian. Okay, this is probably the camp we should not attack right now. He's been flipping us off. I guess it is a possibility. 
Also, I think that's this is like the earliest we've ever lost like the main hero of the campaign. Like we lost our hero before the fourth scenario. Oh, okay, this is the village sending us another ox cart. Like, yeah, I mean, holy crap, man. We got, a uh, Kotian didn't even make it to scenario four. Didn't even make it half, or he made it only halfway through. <laughs> ah! No! No! This isn't enough time to react! Savagery! Another village devastated by Tata Raiders. Aw, oh, come on, man. I didn't even have any time to react. Oh, we already have us, Madri. Let's get lumbering. Make some cavalry troops. Well, that's a that's a that's a bummer. Let's get healed up though. I don't have to kill them myself? I suppose so. Like, I guess I want to be somewhat conservative with my resources. Just because all the fights we've had to take so far have been, you know, pretty easy. So in case we need to, I don't want to like spend all my resources now and then have to, you know, have a huge fight later that I am not prepared for. Because that would not be fun. Just garrison. Did they have a tower? I don't see one. Maybe it was destroyed. Um. Huh? I know this isn't the most exciting part ever, but uh, you know. Charging recklessly headlong in the battle didn't work out for us so well in Kotion 1. Well, looks like well healed up. So let's go down this path now. Look how fast we are, man. Heals Kumin. That humans fighting for the Mongols. The, because they, they they conquered them. That, that was pretty clear when they conquered the Kipchaks and stuff. Anything. Michaels need to make it to the market, but there are Tatar horsemen in the area. Can Told you. you protect me and my precious wares? The reward will be granted. Is it just this cart? Also, I feel like the merchant dude is Forza. But Forza's not going to be born for another couple hundred years. Yeah, that's, that is definitely Sforza. Oh, I guess this is the village she's going to.
You're Cumans against the Cumans? As promised, here is your reward. The village market is now available to you as well. A Cuman messenger? What news does he bring? I bring ill tidings. The treacherous Hungarians oh. have murdered Kotian in cold blood. What? It is no longer safe for us here. We can cross the Danube River and head south. But we will need siege equipment to get to the ships in the nearby town. Okay, this is really confusing. Like, in the pre-intro stuff, they... they... Everything is like, oh, kill the... the evil, treacherous Hungarians, and then it's like... Nope! Okay, so you have to uh, get a trebuchet. That we can do. I mean, yeah, like now we are, but again, this is it's rather confusing. I'm kind of interested as to where the scenario is going here, because we've only used a tiny portion of the map so far. We haven't run into uh, the Austrians at all. And I feel like the Hungarian nobles have a lot more to offer us slash throw at us. Ooh, okay, okay. I mean, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's generally what was happening, but in, if that is the case, they should have not mentioned it that whatsoever at the start, that Koteon is dead. You know? Oh! Oh, God! I was not prepared for that! At all! Not in the slightest! Yeah, I agree, Expendulum. Like, it would have been, a, I think, a more interesting twist if it happened mid-scenario. Also, I do feel like they've completely overdone the whole trope of, like, the, uh, the, the epic M. Night Shyamalan plot twist of the person telling you the, the campaign story being somebody relevant from the campaign. Ten-year-old me was not prepared for that. I wasn't either. Twenty-two-year-old me just, uh, builds a bunch of castles in their towns, though. Wait, why is that trebuchet now unsieged? Or unpacked, rather. I think probably once that power is destroyed, we'll get it. Whoa! Like, I heard the unit was made sound. Oh, you know what we probably have to do is probably just have to destroy one of the palisade walls.
really. And I guess it gives time for everyone else to show up to the party. With these trebuchets, we can tear down the enemy walls and capture the Hungarian transport ships. Okie dokie, Chief. I guess we'll just go south here. Oh wait, I got all these yurts. Wait, what? Weren't those guys attacking me at first? Three humans. We didn't expect you here. We stayed behind after the battle of the Kalka River, and the Mongols forced us to join their army. Well, that was your mistake, my man. Ooh, ox carts. Oh, they're a pretty sick army of hip talks and cav archers. And a hero step lancer, which is nice. Anywho. It's poor Magyar villagers, man. Why is it that the converted uh, Kipchaks or Light Cab or whatever are slowing down my army because they're Tartars or whatever? Did you guys notice that? My army's now moving a lot slower. Trebs on up. Obviously don't want to lose them. Because that would be a one-way trip to Frown Town. Cumin to begin with. But yes, I, I, I do know that, but it's still annoying. You, you guys are just, just gonna let that happen, guys? Destroying your precious guard towers. This is above my pay grade, man. We are charged with preventing any Kumans from entering the city. They, my job description says nothing about no guard towers or gates. Okay, this, this trebuchet inaccuracy is a little bit annoying. We'll get there eventually. Ever <laughs> towards work. I didn't even realize that was, uh. But yeah, that did sound like, uh, Chad Summerchild, the true hero of our story. Alrighty. Crossbowman, your laziness will now go punished. Didn't miss a guard tower, though.
Well, there really hasn't been a whole lot to this scenario so far. Just been occasionally getting units and then attacking small groups of enemy units that are worse upgraded than ours. Wait, why are they going back? Are they on defensive or stand ground or something? That's weird. Whoa! Let's not go there. Freaking AI Archer Micro. Yeah, probably. You mean one range, Attila? Melee units have zero range. Kamiuks have, and Step Lancers have one range. But yeah, the Magyar Hussars do look like they'd have one range. The Photo Man unit? No, I did not. What is the Photo Man unit? Once we kill all these dudes, we will... Yeah, it's like these guys are on stand ground or something. Or not stand ground, uh, defensive. With a plasma gun? <laughs> I think that's an Age of Empires 1 cheat unit. side of the river, there are several Hungarian towns ripe for plundering. Let us cross. Okay, we do have a uh, greening. So we can get our whole army across. M -m 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 -millen! Again, what's, what's up with the Streamlabs not doing the sound over things, but whatever. 15 months! Thank you so much, man! Do you appreciate... I suppose... I suppose we are supposed to land over here. Probably, you know, cliffs and stuff preventing us from just going right to the Hungarian... or er, sorry, Kuman camp. Yeah, 15 months. That's a lot of months. The Hungarians control the resources we need. We should raise their villages to the ground and collect the resources stored there. I mean, this really seems more of the work of the Hungarian nobility and not so much these little peasant dudes. This is not a great fight. Oh, holy shit, the transport ship is not full HP. But land! Land! Just freaking land your... Land the ship, goddammit! Holy crap. Also, I guess putting units into a ship removes them from your control group. six of the nine Hungarian villages. No, I could tell wouldn't work. Wait. I guess we have to destroy the docks and stuff? Again, still not sure how the Austrians are going to factor into this. They definitely are our enemies, but the, uh, the game did say that they're looking to sow discord among the Hungarians. 
probably to, you know, conquer them or something. Do I really have to destroy all of these buildings? Even the stupid houses? Oh, nope! It's just the docks. Wait a minute. I can't... I assume I'll be able to, to send these ox carts to the camp in the, uh, the south once I get there. I doubt we'd have to transport the uh, ox carts back. That would seem silly. But I definitely could use a bit of a refresher for my troops. Wait, what are these attacking? I just realized I could have trapped that down, but uh, whatever. Assume we destroy the trade workshop. I forgot how flimsy these things are. They only have a thousand health. Hey, just, I have to destroy the lumber camps as well. Uh-oh, I see those those dudes patrolling over there. Yeah, we only have 15 military units left. What what the uh, what, 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 uh, what it Okay. Okay, yeah, I guess we should have destroyed those lumber camps. Get 375 wood, which I will take. I kind of want to avoid unnecessary conflict. Thankfully, those units seem to have piss poor line of sight. The ghost of the lumber camp. Three Hungarians paid <laughs> 375 wood. But I think it's just player number three. Okay, so it looks like we'll, we will have to fight these guys. Let's try and fight them separately. You know, divide and conquer and all that. If I can sneak past here to get to the camp. That way we can uh, replenish our forces a little bit before we can... They're not chasing me down, are they? No. Perfect! Do we even have a siege workshop? Make sure I do these separately. If I send in all the, uh... If I send in all the cards at once, there's a chance I feel that they will be deleted. Like, they'll all be deleted and they'll only count for one. That happened in the, uh, Montezuma 5. Like, if you sent in all of... If you sent in multiple thingies, uh, multiple horses or carts of gunpowder at the same time, like, they would just, like, both get deleted and then you'd only get one. Which is why I'm sending them in one by one. And like I said, I was thinking about making a video on the, uh, the Zoxol Warriors. I do, I should probably figure out how to pronounce that. 
Oh, I also have to destroy the Hungarian nobles' castles. Motherfuckers. Well, yeah, I mean, the it is called the last cons, right, of Attila? The, uh, the, the new civs are all steppe nomads, or descendants of steppe nomads, except for the uh, Lithuanians, which are just kind of there. Oh, well, gotta go. I gotta fight these guys at some point. Um, not sure. Because in the, uh... In Montezuma 1, purple is, I think, called the Hochimiko. Am I a YouTube millionaire yet? No. Not even... Like, it takes up to a month to monetize your YouTube channel. Oh, there's already a video on it. Curses. Foiled again. Axolotl. So it's just X Axolotl. It's probably a uh, Nahaudl. Or not Waffle, or however you say it. Let's see if we can bait these guys out. This is a pretty, uh. I don't know, it's not a very intense mission. Yeah, it's Tashkala. This random little bush. Wait, no, that's not even a real thing. Why are my pulls being so weird with them? Look at another Step Lancer hero unit. Another chief. their forces at all. I do wish we could have gotten ballistics. That would have been quite nice. But, can't complain too much, I suppose. I mean, I feel like if we can just take down the castle, we won't have to waste our time destroying every single building. Yeah, why not just use SH, man? It's not like you can't change, uh, romanizations. We did it with Korean, like, ten years ago. To make it, uh, easier to uh, read, like, romanizations of Korean words in a modern, uh, for, like, a modern English speaker. So that's why you'll sometimes see different spellings of Korean words in English. Oh, howdy ho! I guess get plate for you. Yeah, but we couldn't afford a lead step lancer. And we'll get a ring archer. 
I mean, we have these two trebuchets, so this, I don't really think we'll need any other siege weapons. I do miss my monk, though. Again, still haven't seen the Austrians yet. Not really sure what they're up to. Oh no, more feudal age enemies. Die, 700 HP tower. Ooh, I wonder if I can trebuchet this from uh, across the river. Oh, that's an enemy trebuchet. I wonder if we can take high ground. If I lose this treb war, I will not be happy. state in Mexico, which is the same place where the, uh, the Tlaxcala people hung out. Anyway, that is A-OK. -okay. And yeah, we can just siege the castle from across the river. The Treb Pack while repair bug. Um, I could if I had villagers, but I don't. Then we just need to find one more village to destroy. None of these guys just care. So, so castle's getting Treb down. What else is new? Just another Tuesday. Oh, maybe they're sending troops too. Attack us. I warned the Hungarians not to trust you, no man scum. But you're the one who betrayed My us! The knights will crush your petty horse army, and I will deal with the pagan hordes here once and for all. Wait, what? But do I still have to destroy it? I, I feel like I still have to destroy the, the village. Also, wait, where am I escaping again? To the flagged area to the west. Huh? You mean here? That's to the northwest. Which is a distinctly different direction from west. The Hungarians not to trust you, nomads come, my armored knights will crush you, your petty horse army and deal with the pagan. Oh, it did say northwest. Whoops. Literacy's hard, guys. Okay, here looks like the last nomad village. Or not nomad village. We're the nomads. Hungarian village. Ah, 
And... Really? Okay, good. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can take him with this army. I don't know why we have to escape to the northwest where our enemies are specifically coming. Like, it seems kind of silly. You think you'd want to escape to where your enemies, you know, aren't attacking you. Looks like we probably will have to train more troops here. Like, this is a long scenario, though, for just... I don't know. It's like, we're already an hour and ten minutes game time in, but I feel like most of it's just been, like, walking around doing minute tasks. Do I wonder if I can uh, still raid more villages, even though I've already raided the uh, the requisite amount? Just because I want to be able to grab Elite Step Lancer or uh, Heavy Cav Archer. And at 500, 900, 550. Alright, let's go train a couple more cab archers. And I guess I would get heavy cab archer just because I have four of them. Mines of Adrianople deserve to be plundered. Let us destroy all of their mining camps. And. Well, that isn't as useful as I would hope in terms of getting another 75 food. Ah, <sighs> whatever. I have a crap ton of units queued up at those two buildings. Because I got all the upgrades I can afford. plenty of units, that's for sure. And I still got plenty more queued up. But no, the Austrians are Teutons, they're not Goths. Or do you mean from like Barbarossa 1 where they uh, they are Goths for some reason? Just for diversity. Oh, you just finished the mission? 
Well, I mean, we don't need to destroy the Austrians, but we, like, completely, but we do need to get to their base, or get through their base. Hello, Dereal Mandoon. Because I completed Genghis Khan 6. I'm pretty sure this happens before Genghis Khan 6. I think this happens after Genghis Khan 5, but before Genghis Khan 6. Okay, just waiting for a couple more cav archers, and then I'll send them all up. I wonder if these guys replenish lost forces in any way. Whoa, that's a lot of monkers. Oh, they do have sanctity. to kill a goddamn monk. Or a pikeman. God damn it. Okie dokie. Everyone uh, done? This happens 29. Killed after the Battle of Molten. Yeah, I mean, I'm certainly no expert on this period of European history. Yeah, no ballistics is pretty annoying. Uh oh, SpaghettiO. These guys are in the castle age, but they have castle age upgrades. And I have the feeling that they are producing units, maybe? It's kind of hard to tell. I feel like they are, so let's take out these production buildings. And it would explain why they have upgrades. They, you know, just used to this blacksmith they have. Let's just be on the safe side. Oh. Well, that was easy. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, you know, when you said that Akasta, Akasup, I thought that you meant that you just didn't need to, to, you know, defeat them completely. You just had to, you know, cut a path through them. Nope. Got even Nikov's here to see what a what a fail I am. Well, as to not fighting that really crappy choke point, we'll just take the uh, long way around. <laughs> I was right thinking this was the wrong way. Well, wait, then what's the point of the Austrians? Because wouldn't they just not attack you unless you went to them? Oh, they attack our camp? But, like, we don't even get any more reinforcements. Like, this camp is, es is essentially useless. Oops. Will these guys attack me if I run by? Nah, we cool. Oh, shit, we're not cool. I, I, I lied! Yeah, what is up with, like... I feel like they're all on defensive stance for some reason. They're supposed to scare us. I just thought we had to defeat them. 
or not defeat them, but like fight past them. No, 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 not the trebuchets. No, 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 nobody touches the trebuchets. You know, what with them being irreplaceable and all. Well, actually, all of our units are irreplaceable at this point. Hungarian nobles produce new units? Uh, their score really hasn't gone up all game long. Oh shit, you're right, they do produce new units. Huh? But yeah, I mean, I was right in that their score really hasn't gone up all game long. Maybe that's just because we've been killing their stuff? Okay, so we might have taken a bit of a wasted detour, but it was okay. The only thing that scares me is that uh, right next to the exit, there's like uh, a bunch of knights and an onager. And uh, I have the feeling that some uh, some Ornlu micro could uh, negatively impact our chances of success. That's right here for right here. God damn Danube River. Oh hey, a couple more ox carts. Okay, everything is okay. But we are gonna split our, uh, our units into two control groups just to be safe. Oh, whoa, what is that cool looking tower? Fortification. But yeah, it looks like we just have to clear out those guys and then we will win. Eight plus thirteen plus one range. Holy crap. That's a cool looking tower though. the villages and castles to the ground and the road south lies open but we're going northwest take care of the corpse of the once mighty kingdom of Hungary. we're going northwest like i said we're running through our enemies <laughs> the road south is clear as we travel northwest ah oh, looks like this was the last hungarian village And the Tartars had a random ass camp over here that we could have gotten another ox cart at. It's tilted. Oh, whoops, missed this ox cart here as well with a couple of light cab we could have gotten. Also ripped this village, totally didn't protect it. Okie dokie, let's see what they got to say. We left no stone unturned and spared no living being. 
Every shack, hovel, and hut was burned to the ground. All livestock killed, and all farms trampled to dust. After we had plundered the last village before crossing into Bulgaria, I looked over my shoulder and saw nothing but a nightmarish vision of red and black. Again, we're going northwest we towards Austria. To the surface of the earth itself. The Hungarians will think twice in the future before double-crossing us. But those dead bodies are Kuman dead bodies. God damn it! Yeah, seriously, it's not the villagers' fault that their uh, their nobles suck. Anyway, here are the uh, the achievements. Pretty nice, KD. Yeah, that was a long one. So that was Blood for Blood. This will, of course, be going up on YouTube within a week or so.